And we're back for part six of the three of G Don't Starve Guide. Okay, I'm starting to second guess myself a little bit here. I'm hearing hounds in the background. It is pitch black, and I'm not sure what's ahead of me, so I don't know. I'm thinking I might wait out in the dark here. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to venture too far forward. I think I'm going to wait and, uh, and take care of these hounds with the piggies down below. So let's just uh, collect a few things while we're waiting. You can always use some more charcoal. It's getting louder. Okay, and here's the first one. There should be a second one coming around here somewhere. There he is. Alright, follow me, fellas. Let me show you to my friends. Attack, my pig minions! Attack! Yes. I love pigs. There you go. Okay, another thing you want to know about pigs is, man, they are, oh snap, I did not mean to do that. Okay, I'm sorry guys, no, please, stop. Gotta get the meat. Oh crap. Okay, I'm sorry, leave me alone. Go back to your lives. Wander around your huts. Okay, I think they're gone. Yeah, I was going to say one thing to know about pigs is uh, at a full moon or with uh, or with uh, or with four monster meat, they will turn into were pigs and they are definitely not friendly. Okay, let's go the easier route with this one. We'll just keep trapping them with a thing just to keep ourselves on the safe side because we're not exactly looking that great with our health right now. Come on. Oh, there you go. Three and done. Okay, we can take care of this nest. Nice. Silk. And that is what we want. We want silk for our clothing. Sweet. Looks like there's a lot of nests up here, so maybe we can farm these guys a bit. And, uh, stock up on some silk. Okay. Oh, man. I walked right into that one. Okay. Down you go. Get some gold. Why not? Hey, fella. Come on. There you go. Now I gotta say, looking at my health right now, if you're just starting in this game, I probably wouldn't recommend this because this is uh, kind of pushing it a little. Uh, in fact, if you were to take anything from what I'm doing right now is uh, a lesson in what not to do when you start this game. Because uh, if I were you, I probably wouldn't be dodging these spiders left and right like this. I would be healing myself up, possibly getting body armor, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm just a risk taker like that. There you go. Taste my spear. Oh, sorry, Chester. And take that, and that, and that. So as you can see with a spear, it takes about three hits to kill a spider. Um, any other any other weapon below that like a pickaxe or a or a um, or an axe is probably going to take about four hits so if you have a spear on hand always go for the spear it's much nicer and take that 
All right. Oh crap. Okay, so my house looking a little bleak right now. But yet somehow it doesn't seem to be stopping me from wanting to trap the spiders. There we go, we'll heal ourselves up a bit. Well, I guess that'll have to do. Oh boy, they're all coming out to play right now. I'm sorry guys, backing off. Now in the single tier uh, spider webs, spider nests, you're going to see these black guys. And they're not too bad once you start figuring out how they move, maneuver and work their way around. But uh, once you start hitting the second and third tier, you're going to see these striped green spiders. And those guys aren't very friendly. Hey, a lone ranger. Here you go. Ah, see, here we are right here. See these little, these little uh, spiky head striped guys? Those guys aren't attacking too bad right now, but you get close enough and they are going to lunge. And when they lunge, they're pretty accurate. And uh, it's easy to die with those guys. So that's one thing to be aware of with those second and third tier uh, spider nests. Let's uh, stock up on some twigs here. Running just a little low. Oh, my stomach's running kind of low. We're going to have to get some food in me soon. Okay. Guess I'll clear out the map here a bit. That and that. Here's another landmark. Oh, let's get a... Oh, crap. I'm starving here. Eat, eat, eat. Fireplace. Done. Okay, that was a little close, but hey, we're alive. And that's what matters. So here's another landmark off to the bottom right here. Um, oh, and another tip. This is what I'm doing right here. I am uh, I am cooking seeds. Um... Seeds are edible, and they help in a pinch, and seeds are always get. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, sorry, Chester. Take that. All right. Okay, all clear? Everyone done? We all settle for the night? Good. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, seeds are edible, so if you're in a pinch, and you're finding yourself without any food around you, and you do have seeds... Cooking is always better, just like any other food, but if you're in a pinch, throw some seeds in your mouth. That'll fill your stomach just enough for you to find yourself to your next meal. I don't know how many times I've used seeds to kind of pull me along when I'm, when I'm running to my base or I'm looking around for some spare food out in the wilderness. So that's always a good tip to kind of hold on to some spare seeds at most of the time, so that way if you run into that, uh, that issue, then you can throw them in your mouth. Now this is what I just passed right here, that little ring thing I just picked up and shoved in Chester's mouth. Uh, that is a standard landmark you're going to find on uh, every map. And that little ring thing, whatever it's called, um, that is one of four artifacts, I want to say, that will, um, I believe you use to go through Maxwell's door. Um, and you need those in order to complete the game. I've never gone that far. I've always enjoyed the idea of just, you know, surviving in the wilderness and seeing how long I can go and how big I can build my base. That's my thing, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll beat this game someday. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear this three tier right here. And I'm going to show you guys what I intended to show you earlier with that spider web over in the dry grass area next to the beefalo. Is we are going to get ourselves a spider's 
egg. I can't stress enough how uh, how effective the traps are for spiders. Like it beats attacking them every single time. So if you ever have uh, traps on hand, use traps. It's so much better. You've seen me attack them so many times so far. Okay, so we're going to attack this spider nest here, and you will see a whole plethora of silk falling out. I love three tiers for silk. They're amazing. Oh, ran out of my spear. There we go. And see, there is that uh, egg sack right there. This egg sack is awesome because we are going to be using that egg sack to plant near our base. And that will give us an, a now recycling endless supply of spider silk and glands and all sorts of wonderful things. So, that was my intention with the spider's nest over uh, near the beefalo, but hey, we're, we're just that one step ahead of the game, so. I will show you guys that a little bit later, and how I kind of farm that and recycle that whole process. But for now, I'm kind of feeling greedy, so let's keep collecting some silk while I have the opportunity. Okay, back off, fella. I really don't like those striped ones. Oh, lost my head wreath. Go away! Go away! Look at that. I didn't hit you this time, Jester. You're welcome. Probably should use some of these glands soon. But I shall waste the day. Let's keep collecting stuff. That's not nice. Okay, let's get ourselves back up there. Wunderbar. Now all I have to worry about is starving to death. No, we're not going to starve to death. Because I have seeds. And seeds... ...are the meat. Are the bees mean? I don't know. I, I, I really lost my train of thought there. Okay. Here's something else I learned. Know your limits. Let's, uh, let's start heading back to base. I think I've gotten a little too greedy for myself, but hey, we've got what we needed, and we're heading back. What's up, fellas? You know what, now's probably actually, oh, let's get some seeds in me here. There's a prime example. A few seeds in the mouth, hold you off until you get to your base, and then stuff yourself full of crockpot food. So, like I was saying, uh, that was probably a really good example in what not to do. Charging into the enemy with no protection and very little health. Um, I did survive, but hey, I've had a lot of experience in this game so far, so I wouldn't recommend it for newbies. What I would recommend is doing what I am looking up right now. A log suit. Okay, it looks like we need rope here. Alright. And I have no supplies for rope. Okay, so it looks like we're running out of time here. So, in the next episode, looks like we're going to be making a log suit, and maybe we'll explore a little bit more and start planting some crops. So, stay tuned for part seven. See ya.
Thanks for watching the Don't Starve walkthrough guide from 3FG. 3FG is a small community of gamers that is constantly growing from PC to console to mobile gaming. We cover the whole gamut, so stay tuned for more videos to come. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.